The other thing I want to mention for more coolant failure criterion is this uh, inclination of failure plane. I highlight here, this is for soil specimens subjected to triaxial condition. So you have this combination of this principal stresses, basically, sigma one prime and sigma three prime. So if that's the case, then this failure plane angle theta. So we can find this angle theta from this Mohr circle. This is basically what we did similar to that previous examples, that Mohr circle example. So we have this Mohr circle at theta. And we have these principal stresses, sigma one prime for major principal stress, sigma three prime for minor principal stress. And that's a Mohr circle. And this is the failure envelope. So we can use this more circle actually to find the angle of the failure plane. And the way to do that, so first is to find the pole on this more circle for soil elements subjected to this sigma one, sigma prime, this triaxial condition we know that the pole is right here. Again, example two we did in previous lecture. And this is a pole, and if you connect the pole to any point on our circle, that line is going to be parallel to that plane. So for this failure plane, we know this tangent point, so that's the point of basically failure envelope touching more circle, that's a failure point. So this is sigma prime and tau f on failure plane, EF. Okay. So this is a failure plane. So this tangent point is the basically normal shear stress on that failure plane. So this is this is failure plane. Okay. And if you connect these two points, that line, this line here is going to be parallel to that plane EF. So remember, we used this property of pole to find the stress on any plane. So in the previous lecture, that's how we find the stress on any plane. So we basically draw a line from the pole parallel to that plane to find that stress. So we know this property. So this line is going to be parallel to plane DE or EF. And then that's the angle here. So that's the, and then from this basic, this drawing here, you can find this theta. So this is then two theta. And since it is, this failure envelope is tangent to your Mohr circle, so that's a 90 degree angle. So we have two theta equals to 90 degree plus phi prime. So this angle here, this is phi prime. So that's how you get the relationship between failure plane theta and that angle phi prime. So this is And theta again, angle of failure plane, inclination of failure plane. Okay. So that's the angle of failure plane from horizontal. That's how it relates to the friction angle phi prime. But again, I want to emphasize this applies if the soil specimen is subjected to the triaxial condition. So you have this combination of sigma one prime, sigma three prime. And then from, again, from geometry here, and by using some trigonometry relationship, you can actually get relationship between sigma one prime, and sigma three prime and failure as well. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to focus on this triangle. 
F, D, and A. So if you focus on this triangle, the sine of this angle F, so sine phi prime, okay, is AD over AF. So angle phi prime, again, this, this angle here, that's the angle of this failure envelope. And the sign of this angle, since this is a, tri a right triangle, FDA, it's DA over AF. Okay. And DA or AD is the radius of the Mohr circle, which is one over two. And then AF, AF is basically F O plus O A. Okay. So A F is F O plus O A and F O. So this is one over two. Okay. Over and FO is C prime times cotangent of phi prime. And OA is the radius or is the center of the Mohr circle. So it's one over two sigma one prime plus sigma three prime. Okay. So basically this is a relationship between these two major, uh, two principal stresses, sigma one prime, sigma three prime, is a function of these two strength parameters, phi prime and the C prime. And this is basically where another relationship, okay. so let me show you the relationship first. Okay. So from that previous expression, this one here, okay. you can write sigma one prime in term of sigma three prime and these two strength parameters and same for sigma one and sigma three. Okay. In getting these two equations, 12.8 and 12.9, we used some relationship from trigonometry. So, so this is sine one minus sine phi prime equals to tangent square 45 plus phi over two. Okay. And cosine phi prime, one minus sine phi prime. Okay. So we used these two equations, two relationships to derive these two equations, uh, equation 12.8, 12.9. But the bottom line here is, if you know sigma three prime, and if you know these two strength parameters, C prime and phi prime, you can calculate your major principal stress sigma one prime. Okay. So this concludes basically part one of this chapter. If I go back to this outline here. So part one, just very briefly, we talked about the more circle of stress that basically gives, that's a tool we can use to calculate shear stress and normal stress on any given plane. And then this more coolant failure criteria. Part two and three of this chapter, they all focus on basically one thing is uh, basically determine these shear strength parameters. Okay. And shear strength parameters in more coolant failure criteria basically refers to C and the phi or C prime and phi prime. Okay. Okay. So that's a shear strength parameters. Part two of this chapter, next lecture, I'm going to talk about the direct shear test. And then we're going to spend quite a few lectures on the triaxial test. Okay. So all these tests are designed to determine the shear strength parameters of soils. Okay.